Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another action figure video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Black Widow from Infinity Wars. So here we are and there she is and first and foremost as always we, we will take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. Got Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. That's a beautiful image by the way. Got her logo. Got Black Widow in gold with SH Figure Arts and Tomashi Effect Explosion, yada yada yada, logo, movie logo, Bandai logo, Tomashi Nation logo, Marvel. On the top, not much else. On the bottom, again, not much else, just that, just a cool picture. On this side, you got another cool picture of Black Widow running from something. I'm sure it's something. <laughs> um, Vendors A, SH Figure Arts Black Widow, um, and got the Tamashi effect right there, and on this side, not much else at all, and on the back you got your promotional shots, and that's basically it for the packaging, and moving right along, here we have SH Figure Arts Black Widow, and you can just see that this figure is amazing, I mean, it is like a tiny Scarlett Johansson, as I move these pens out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is just beautiful. I mean, the head sculpt, uh, just the sculpting and paint work in general is amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, you know what, I think we'll just go ahead and jump into comparisons. So first and foremost, let's start with the Marvel ones. Here she is with SH Figure Arts Hulk, which I will be reviewing next. And as you can see, Hulk towers over Black Widow. If I can just raise the camera up a bit so that you can see this. Make sure I'm screwing that in there. All right. There we go. So yeah, you see he's significantly bigger than Black Widow. And here she is with the Marvel Legends first 10 years, uh, Mark 7 Iron Man. And um, I didn't really care to swap out the parts, but here she is with Mayfex Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man. So she's still a tad bigger than Spidey, but she's definitely smaller compared to Hulk and Iron Man. So there you have that. And um, and just so you know, I did do a review of Spidey, but I'm not going to post it because it's just too eh. And um, Hulk, I will be reviewing next, so be on the lookout for that. And I will get the uploads done on time, compared to last time I recorded. <laughs> um, here she is with some Star Wars 501st members, and I mean... In and I don't mean in real life with the cosplay group, I mean in the Star Wars universe. Here she is with SH Figure Arts, Revenge of the Sith, Anakin Skywalker, and Black Series Clone Captain Rex. So, I'm screwing this in the wrong way. Um, it's just a, I'm trying to screw in this little knob so that the tripod doesn't move up and down, but yeah. There they are. She's still tall. Uh, she's still. Why was I? Why was I about to say taller? She's still a bit smaller than these two. Oh, actually, I can't take these guys aw away yet because, yes, it is the A New Hope version. But here she is with SH Figure Arts R two D two. I still put him with these two because, I mean, he was in the Clone Wars, so you know. I mean, obviously, he had to be. He had to have been. So, yeah. There she is. Obviously, R2 is the shortest one because he's just in, he's just a little R2 unit. So there you have all of that. I'll put Rex over here next to R2. And oh, uh, here she is with a SH Figuarts B1 Battle Droid, the um, Episode One version. So there you have that. And you know what? Let's do this. 
Let me get out one more comparison, and here she is with Figma Tracer. So as you can see, if I can get her to stand, she's not wanting to stand. Why are you not wanting to stand? I know you're a tracer, but why do you not want to stand? There you go. Um, so as you can see, Figma, uh, blah, 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 blah. Figma Tracer is shorter. So, there you have that. And um, I think we'll jump into articulation now. So articulation wise, her head's on a double ball peg. So you can't get her to look up really because of the collar and the hair sculpt. So upward, you're a bit limited. Um, so it's unfortunate, but hey, it's okay. Um, but she can look down quite a bit if you need that. Then you do get some some confused dog look as Bobby Skullface calls it, you know, her tilting her head. And, um, I mean, just the head alone, you can get a decent amount. But um, the neck allows you for, like, oh, that's just the downward movement with the, with the head. With the neck, you can get her to look down even more. Um, not up much more because, again, the collar... Um, but you can also get her to tilt pretty well. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball hinge that extends into a peg into her chest. So you could get her a little over 90 as far as outward movement goes for the shoulder. Um, you kind of sh shift them up and down a slight bit. And you could go, you have a bit of a butterfly motion with the shoulder, and then the bicep swivel is built into the ball hinge for the shoulder. So, so yeah. And then, obviously, you get the swivel. So. Um, and then you get this very big disc hinge, this disc ball hinge type joint in the elbow, which gives you a really good bend for the elbow. And then... I guess if you wanted to use it, you could use the swivel from that, even though it's not going to get you much. And same for the bi for a forearm swivel, which isn't going to really get you anything. And then the wrists. The wrists are a bit tight, so I'm going to be careful with them and trying to show you. But they can move up and down, and then they swivel at the actual wrist, at the actual hand, and then pop this off real quick. And then it swivels at the base joint. And it is tight, so that's why I removed the hand, um, moved this up, and just kind of try to turn it. Because you can do it, it's just, I don't want to risk breaking this little peg, because that would suck. So, I'm sure over time it'll loosen up, so. Because I've only had this figure for like, what, a couple days? Um, but yeah, that's this arm. Same for the other arm. They're both equally as posable. Um, with both torso joints, um, you know what, let's just focus on the top. You get her arched back to there. And forward, maybe a tad. Not by much, though. Um, and then you get some tilt and a little bit of swivel. Same for uh, the swivel. Uh, you get more swivel here, actually. So there you have that. At the uh, the uh, waist joint, you get back and then a bit more forward. So the backward motion is with both joints is awesome. But nine times out of ten, you're gonna be doing you're gonna want her to do an ab crunch, and you don't really get that. But, oh well, I mean, it's what the, she has the, it, blah, 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 she has the tactical vest, so, you know, it, it's a bit forgiving. Or, I say a bit, it is forgiving. So, legs, um, she could kick forward that much, but if you want, you can move her leg out and get her an even higher kick, so she can do them high kicks, she can do them high kicks, so, <laughs> it just depends on how you kind of, rotate the the joint 
But yeah, and then back, yeah, you get a little bit. Not much because of the butt sculpt. And then, so she can't, she kind of do the full Monty, whatever that means. Probably something from a movie that Bobby Skullface references. So you get that. And then she can only John Clog Van Dammit's uh, this far, which is apparently uh, an actor does the splits a lot in his movie, so I guess that's where that reference came from. I don't know, I just heard it from YouTubers. <laughs> um, you get a double hinged knee, which gets you about there. She can't really kick her own butt due to the sculpts, but that's okay. You don't really need her to. Um, and then the ankles can move up that far, down a bit, and then you manip manipulate the joint to get a bit of a rocker, even though it's on an angle, but you can still do it. It's a bit tricky to maneuver back, but there it is. And then you got a toe hinge. So all in all, pretty poseable, very good movements with this um, Black Widow figure. Um, and I I'm very impressed by this. Um, now, let's take a look at her accessories, which uh, the first, I guess, three are two fists, which is what she comes with out of the box. So, you know, you can get her into some fighting, kind of about to punch you kind of poses. Um, so, and then you can hear it's a bit squeaky. A little squeaky, isn't it? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you have three face options. You get the neutral head, which is this one. And let me see if I can get a zoom in on this real quick. Okay, here it is. And yeah, I'm glad I brought in some extra lights because it helps a lot. But anyway, um, so this is the neutral face, which I mean, God, this looks amazing. This looks so much like Scarlett Johansson. It's it's like you have a tiny version of Scarlet of Scar Joe in the palm of your hand. But anyway, you just take off the front part of her hair, and then you take this piece off. It just tabs in to the hair, and then we'll bring in this face, which is um, which is her looking off to her left a bit. So you know you get her into like some like, are you serious kind of poses, or, you know, you could do like a, a bit of an over-the-shoulder look. Oh, that looks cool. Um, and as you can see, there, I don't know if this is intentional. It may be, but there's like some gray scuff marks on this black piece, which, I mean, I think it's to replicate battle damage, but, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I don't mind it, so. Um... So yeah, there's that, and then we get this face, which is kind of a stern face, and I'll be honest, it's not that much different from, let me see if I can get it in there, it's not that much different from the um, neutral face, it's just her looking a bit more, you know, a bit more um, serious. But yeah, it looks great. I mean, it, it's the digital paint, which a lot of companies are pretty much using nowadays. So very well done. Um, just for the sake of the review, I'm just going to keep her with the, um, the neutral face. And I did get a bit of gold on her forehead. You can kind of see it right there. Right there. But... It still hides away from the hair, so I'm not too upset about it. I'm thinking about casting a mold of the hair pieces to make a red-haired version, but I don't know. We'll see. But get her standing, and she also comes with a bunch of little staff pieces, and we'll just put her right here. You get 
the two handles, if I can grab them, Jesus. Um, they're tiny pieces, so, you know, just bear with me. Um, I had to move some stuff around. So you, you get two of these uh, handle pieces, and this is to this is to replicate her staff kind of collapsed up. And if you want, you can you got two um, sockets in here, and you could just go ahead and uh, let me see if I can. You just go ahead and I just pop them in like that. And they're on a ball joint so you know you can angle them however you want. And just for the sake of symmetry, there you go. So you could have two on her back or you know you could have like um, one in and then one of these like out and her holding the, um, the staff or the, not the staff, the um, batons. The, the uh, baton pieces so there you have that. And then you also get two batons. And uh, they, look, they look pretty good. Um, you know, nice nice sculpt work. It's just molded into black plastic, but uh, we'll take a look at one of these. Um, yeah, very nice sculpt work. As you can see through the um, the handle and the um, kind of the, uh, the baton part. And then they do... Um, it's like with some of the lightsabers, they split apart so that you can slide the handle into the hand and then put this back in like that. So we get two of those, and then we get the batons combined into a staff. And the way you put this in her hands is, be or is because, what? Is <laughs> you just, um, depending on if you want the hand here or here, you, you take either this or this. Or if you want her with holding it with two hands, you take both ends off, slide it into the hands, and put these back on, and there you go. Staff. Yay. <laughs> and then speaking of staffs, we have two staff holding hands, which are which are very nicely sculpted and painted. Um you know, I, I do dig the uh, the sculpt and the paintwork on these hands so we do get a pair of these and then just like um you've been seeing she comes with two of the fists which do come on the which do come on the figure right out of the packaging so there you have that you never about to punch someone so you do have that and they do swap out you know it's just the usual sh figure arts Mafex type wrist peg, um, well, figure arts more because it has a bit of a ball on the end. So you just, so you just pull it off, swap the hand, and then, or pick the hand you want, and then pop it on. <clears throat> so there you go, and that's how that works. And then we have two kind of, I guess, jazz hands, if you want to call them that. Um, which they're nicely sculpted as well, um, nicely painted as well. I mean, you just get black paint for the most part, but they still, they, they still, if my tongue would work, look pretty good. So yeah, um, I do like these. Uh, I do like these, um, and we do also get um, two relaxed hands, which. I'm okay with. I mean, I kind of rather have some gun holding hands, and maybe, I mean, even though she doesn't use them in the movie, uh, maybe a pistol or two because she does have holsters on her legs for pistols, but she doesn't come with any pistols. Which, I mean, she never used them in the movie, so it's fine. But still, it kind of would have been nice. But um, there you have that, and. Yeah, very nicely painted and sculpted. And we will zoom back out and talk about the Tamashi effects, which, full disclaimer, originally this was like $82, but 
for 10 bucks less, you just get Black Widow and not the effects. And so yeah, it's about 10 to 12, maybe 13 more bucks with the effects. Which I only got the this set because there was a deal on Amazon where it was like 58 bucks and some change. And I was like, oh my god, that is too good of a deal to pass up. So anyway, I mean, they're nicely sculpted and, you know, they're painted in the back to look like clouds of smoke, which eh, looks more cartoony, in my opinion. I mean, they look better in person. Or maybe they look better. You know what? No, they look better on camera. Um, just not in the promotional images, but yeah, they're decent. They're they're decent. I'll probably use these on the shelf, but probably not for photography. If I want explosion effect, I'll just get some fireworks and everything. But there you go. Um, and giving you just a second, and we will wrap this up. Okay, and let me just finish the pose for the final thoughts. Um, or I guess I could do it while I give you my final thoughts. So, final thoughts wise, um, not really any negatives with this. I mean, it's pretty much close to perfect as you're going to get to any Black Widow figure. Um, if I did have one thing, and I get why they didn't do it because it probably would have cost paint rub or plastic rub, but I kind of wish the tactical vest was removable. So that, you know, customizers could have an updated Age of Ultron kind of Scarlett Johansson Black Widow figure. And now the Age of Ultron SH Figure Arts Black Widow is not bad at all. It's just the the paint apps for the face is a bit fuzzier, but that's because, you know, it's older technology or they were just getting the technology and they were just trying to perfect it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's just my real only negative, but positive, positives wise, I mean, I could sing praises of this figure. I mean, it's just so good. Um, and, and I'm glad I got her because, like I said, that deal on Amazon and, this is just a really cool figure. I mean, I'm just, I'm really happy with her, and she's gonna photograph very well with Hulk, which is what I do intend on doing. Um, but yeah, I mean, what more could you want from a, uh, a Scarlett Johansson Black Widow figure? I mean, beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint, if you are a SH Figure Arts collector, if you're a Marvel collector, I highly recommend this um, because I was really, I was also really debating between this and the Marvel Legends, but then I was like, you know what? This one's so much cooler looking. So yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's more expensive than, than the Marvel Legends, so obviously it's going to be cooler, but still. Um, but there you go, there you have the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Black Widow, and I hope you liked the video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash starpole295, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and uh, before I, before I uh, go, don't forget to uh, hit that like uh, that like button if you like the video. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down for all I care. It, we are, we're all human. We all have different opinions. Um, and, um, yeah, feel free to, to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications right into your inbox if you care to watch, um, future videos and, um, yeah, feel free to share it with your friends if they're collectors or if they're just Scarlett Johansson or Marvel fans. So yeah, um, I'll I will see you in the next video.